Crime is way up. Violent crime is up 40 percent under this prime minister. And uh, today he held a, he had his ministers hold a big press conference as their solution. And in it, they put out a press release that said, and I quote, in 2022, approximately 9600 vehicles were stolen in the Toronto area alone, representing a 300 percent increase since 20. 15, end quote. What happened in 2015? I know he happened, Mr. Speaker. How can we make him unhappen and stop the crime? In 2015, Stephen Harper presented a budget that had slashed funds for policing, slashed funds uh, for CBSA officers, a slash funding for Veterans Affairs Services. Wow, is he ever losing control of himself? <laughs> Oh my goodness, screaming and hollering like that. Mr. Speaker, it's his press release that says that in Toronto, auto thefts are up 300% since he took office. His solution? is to hold a summit. He held a summit on food prices. Food prices went up. He held a summit on housing. Housing costs doubled. How much is crime going to rise after all the bigwigs go to his summit? The leader of the opposition has trouble believing that we would actually include real facts in our press release, something he and the Harper government never did for years. Pierre Poilievre's frustration regarding public concerns particularly Justin Trudeau's perceived lack of accountability and the increasing crime rates. It questions the authenticity of Trudeau's emotional responses, suggesting they may be strategic rather than genuine. Poilier's arguments, supported by statistical data, highlight the rise in crime, especially car thefts. It also examines Trudeau's skepticism toward summits as a solution and criticizes his recurrent summits without evident positive outcomes. There's a tendency to blame the previous administration for current issues, which some see as an evasion of direct responsibility. Overall, the article raises doubts about Trudeau's leadership sincerity and whether his focus on past policies is a tactic to avoid personal accountability for current problems.